हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास ऑफ आवर्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डिस्टेंस टाइम एंड वेलोसिटी टाइम एंड आल्सो एक्सलेशन एक्सेट्रा सो टू बिगिन विद इफ आई राइट हियर टाइम एंड आई राइट हियर डिस्टेंस एंड इफ आई प्लॉट ए ग्राफ बिटवीन डिस्टेंस एंड टाइम फॉर ए बॉडी व्हिच इज से अबाउट द मोशन ऑफ अ बॉडी एंड द ग्राफ comes like this let me see this is a straight line graph between distance time let me say this is o this is a so the obvious question will arise that this distance time graph can give us what please understand this line is graph this is the y axis this is x axis and on y axis we have taken distance on x axis we have taken time and the when between different values between the two a graph has been plotted the graph has become oa oa and uh, this that this distance time graph will give us speed and how we will calculate the speed that we will see but right at outset let me make one thing amply clear to your minds that the motion that we are going to study in class 9 here is the motion of a body uh, moving along a straight line or that is motion in one dimension or that is linear motion or that is rectilinear motion all these four terms are just the same they are telling they represent that body is moving along a straight line so when a body is moving straight line in previous classes we have seen that the distance and displacement become one which another means another words also it means that displacement and distance is one that means also velocity and speed is is one so so far as this graph we will be interchangeably using the term velocity with the speed and distance with the displacement so don't think that we are making by mistake we are doing so we know it now the, to find out the speed what to do we need to find out slope slope of distance time graph will give us the speed that is the statement given in the book but now we'll see what is the meaning of slope first of all slope is another also called gradient slope or gradient sometimes you are asked find out the gradient so slope and gradient are just uh, two names of the same thing and for a graph rather than going into much details let us say this is point p and this is point q and we need to find out the slope slope of graph distance time graph oa at p and q between p and q so mathematically the definition of slope goes like this it is the ratio of rise by run what is run say as this is time what say, we have represented zero this is 2 and here it is 4 seconds seconds this is time in seconds time in seconds 2 4 and say this is distance in meters distance in meters and let me say this is 10 and let me say this is 20 so now if i find out the slope of this or a graph at p and q then what it comes to be see the value had risen from 10 to 20 during this journey of the body so you will rise 20 minus 10 and time see this is run this is rise this is run and by definition the slope means slope means rise by run so rise has been from 10 to 20 this is representing 10 this is representing 20 and run has been see from this it has moved from 2 to 4 2 to 4 so this is run this is rise so it is 4 minus 2 that is 10 by 2 or 5 meter per second now with this in mind suppose you want to find between o and p slope at o and p so what it will be 10 minus 0 here the rise is from 0 to 10 and run is from 0 to 2 so 2 minus 0 that will be again 5 meters per second so this is the slope of uh, distance time graph oa in this particular diagram is constant <coughs> and this is constant and this is representing uh, speed or velocity and why it is representing speed because when you say rise over run what you do you are dividing distance by time distance traveled by the body during this time period 
that has been divided by time, that will undoubtedly be speed or velocity. Undoubtedly, distance upon time is speed or velocity. If you say displacement upon time, and I told you distance and displacement here are just one and same. So you are another way finding out the speed. So distance time graph will give you speed. How it will give? You need to find out slope. What is slope? We have defined it is rise by run and this can be done. And if this is the shape of the graph, that is a straight line, then that graph is said to be constant and that represents uniform motion of the body. We have seen from O to T. 5 meter per second, we have from T to Q, 5 meter per second and even if you find out it from O to Q, you see the rise here will be 20 and this will be 4. So again 5 meter per second. So slope of this particular graph OA is constant throughout which means the body is moving with a constant speed or uniform speed. With this in mind, if I take another diagram, that will be like this. Let me take it like this. This is distance and this is time and the distance time graph this time is parallel to time axis. It is parallel to time axis. So see 0 and say 10 meter and this is uh, 2 and 4 like this. This is seconds, time in seconds. This is distance in meters and now you look distance is not changing. With the time distance is not changing. It is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So, very simple words you can say, the body is at rest. So, distance time graph, if it is parallel to time axis, the body is said to be at rest. Now, another way of telling, by uh, say finding out the slope. So, you find out the slope at where, say this is A at B. So, again what? Rise over run. So, what? Rise here is 0. This is 10 minus 10. So let me write 10 minus 10. 10 minus 10 upon lay any time. Okay. Say 4. 4. So this becomes 0 upon 4. So that is 0. So slope is 0. Here the distance time graph AB. The slope of this graph is 0. And this is representing that body is at rest. Now if we take another graph. Say that is this is distance. And this is time, and the graph is going like this. The slope of a graph should have been defined in the beginning, also in general terms, not mathematically alone. See, the slope means uh, if I, I make a graph here, and if I make this distance, say this is time, so this is also one graph, this is another graph, so this is having uh, the, uh, the slope means the measure of steepness or the inclination of the graph with the time axis is the measure of the slope. So this is less steep, this is more steep. So here I will say the slope when I see here, this is slope. If this is the angle and if I make a line here parallel to this, that will be the measure of this. So here the angle is increasing and say this becomes like this. Practically that is uh, never possible. That is not possible, that, that we will just see later on. But let me tell you, if this is the angle of the graph with the time axis here, and this is the angle here, so this is a, a greater angle. This angle is greater. So we say the graph, distance time graph of the body is like this. That means it the, this is the slope is increasing. And this is the graph of a body which is in accelerated motion. The velocity of this body is continuously changing. So non-uniform motion, non-uniform motion and accelerated motion. Rather I should write accelerated non-uniform motion. Body is not traveling uh, equal distances in equal length of time. Maybe in first, first two seconds it travels 10 meters. But in another two seconds, it may tra tra travel 20 meters. So that is the way it is represented. And you can see the steepness is increasing with the time axis. So this is uh, the graph which is increasing the, with the increasing slope. This is the graph with 
increasing slope and represents accelerated non uniform motion now yet another graph we will see that is like this if i make a graph like this this is distance this is time so you see this is time to become parallel that means somewhere after some time the slope is going to become zero or it is having tendency to become parallel to this means the slope is decreasing so we will say the this the graph the motion of the body this graph is representing that body is in retardation and the slope is decreasing slope is decreasing so retarded motion retarded motion of retarded non uniform motion let us say retarded non uniform motion retarded non uniform motion if one more point i that is more than enough retarded non uniform motion so four things we have seen first is we have seen like this uh, that means uh, body is going in uniform motion and the graph is slope is constant this is distance time graph it is body is at rest and the slope is zero if body is moving like this body is in accelerated uni non uniform motion the velocity of body is continuously changing and it is changing at a increasing rate and this is non uniform accelerated motion and this is the one retarded non uniform motion with the passage of time the speed or velocity of the body is decreasing and the graph is decreasing slope of graph is decreasing in this case the slope of graph was increasing so that is more than sufficient at this point of time